Just like wireframe materials in 3ds Max, we can also create wireframe materials in V-Ray using V-Ray Edge Texture to simulate wireframe renders like these. Let's see an example. Go to your Cosmos browser and download SUV011 and import it. Create a V-Ray plane. Apply V-Ray Shadow Catcher. Create a material. Assign it to the V-Ray plane. Make it little bit dark and leave it like this. After that, create a dome light, make its multiply 30 and use a V-Ray camera, physical camera. Now render your scene. Currently, this is the render that I'm getting. Save it. Now open your material editor. Make another V-Ray material. Select your whole car, right click and assign this material. You can name it anything. After this, in your map section, in your V-Ray section, double click on V-Ray Edge Texture from here or right click, go to your maps, V-Ray and make it from here, V-Ray Edge Texture. Then left click and drag it on the diffuse. You can see here like this. Now render it again. Now guys, you can see that we are seeing the line, but white is something that I don't want. Normally we want a different color on the lines. For that, click on your V-Ray Edge Texture node and you can see this is the color parameter. I normally keep it to black. You can keep it to anything you want. Now render it one more time. Save it and render it. Now guys, the render is done and the lines are black. But one thing that I don't like is these lines width. Normally, this width can be too small or too big. To control the width, we use pixel width. Currently, I think my width is too much, so I wanted to make it thin. For that, I will come here, pixel width. I will decrease my pixel width from 1 to, let's say, 0 0.3 and render it. First, save it and render it. Now, guys, save your result and compare it. When this pixel width was 1 and when it is 0.3. So you can see in my case I have to decrease it. 1 is not looking good but 0.3 is looking good. So you can showcase your renders like this. You have seen it a lot of time. 